Hey guys, it's Jing, back again with uh, another self-care video. Um, if you're just tuning in, basically this project is just for me to unwind and get my thoughts out, um, like video diary. And I basically gave birth to twins, uh, my wife and I did, um, but I'm the one who actually went through labor and delivery, uh, March 13th. Um, and this is for me to log in my thoughts um, so they're not getting bottled in um, but it's been getting tough um, this is gonna be a third third video um, but when I'm thinking that it's getting easier it's getting tougher and hard to kind of juggle everything um, trying to breastfeed the babies trying to pump trying to do the necessities around the house like laundry cleaning even just keeping Estelle our you know older toddler um, entertained um, while Monica is at work mind you I have help I have my mom who's here from the Philippines but she is going back April 10th and then from there um, Monica's dad will help um, usually Monica's dad is um, is helping out with like a like the house stuff like helping vacuuming you know any kind of like um yard work um even tending to estelle um so he was a help but lately he's been working so it's just been my mom and i in the house and it's getting hard as far as nights goes um i think i i'm trying to base it off the good nights and the good nights are where the, where the twins are sleeping like three to four hours at a time and then um, easily transitioning to breastfeeding them and then putting them down again after burping them but lately it's been like for every one good night it's like there's three bad nights and they say it's gonna get better but when <laughs> when is it gonna get better um, I've cried the past couple days it's because I've had um, clogged ducts and it started off with my right boob and it was so excruciating like it's so it hurt so badly and I looked up everything did, did like Epsom uh, salts in a, in a suction cup did the hot shower did the massaging of the boobs and you know and um, and pumping and then having you know the baby actually nurse on that one to unclog it pain is so excruciating when it happens and I cleared that out a couple days ago like um Ari ended up clearing it out after doing all the multitudes of different things to try to clear it out and then this morning the other the opposite boob so my left boob is now going through it and it's like can't catch a break so it's been over a month it's month and five days and I try to talk to my wife about it because it's just, I just cry sometimes of how hard it is and how tired you are. And I just was trying to explain everything and she's like, you just gotta wait a couple of months. And I'm just like, ah, oh, I like blew up about that. Her reaction and her cutting me off on what I feel. It's because, you know, she only had a signal, singleton and she, you know, didn't, isn't going through what I'm going through. and. You know, it could be my mood swings, and I can't justify. Well, I can. I get. I guess I can. I don't. I don't know. Just all this frustration inside. I don't, and that was made me to like do another self care video today. Is because if I keep it bottled up, then I'm lashing out all these people, and I lash out my mom yesterday, and I told her because she's still on her old school Filipino thing about certain things, like um, about taking care of the babies and I just basically lashed out and said you know I'm glad that you're leaving because you stress me out more than the babies I know um part of me part of that statement is true but I just get so stressed out when she is watching me trying to take care of the babies like I'm doing everything wrong or she's like I called her like a breastfeeding prisoner because if she can't fi figure out anything wrong with the babies and while they're crying she just tells me oh you need a you need you need to give a milk like I'm like mom you can't just result to that and I get tired I get once I'm stuck to that couch or stuck to breastfeeding you know sometimes I keep them on a boob and then move around but sometimes I just get so tired 
that I just sat on the couch and then I end up dazing out and that's when my emotions and anxiety kind of get the best of me or whatever is left of me during this postpartum. Um, and the moments that Monica gets into the, the house, I just like feel so relieved at times. But she has to get her rest and she has to pay attention to Estelle too. And I feel so bad about Estelle because she is barely getting any attention from me. And I used to give her 100% attention anytime it's just me and her. So, sorry, I'm just kind of tearing up a little bit because it's getting the best of me. But I'm pushing through as much as I can. And the whole breastfeeding thing is probably the the problem um i'm thinking of just exclusively pumping and then you know giving you know the bottle um i tried not to do it but you know I'm, i have twins so their you know their nutrients is and my mental health is you know it's like i have to get i have to be good in order for me to provide milk for them so I'm, I'm gonna try to find a way i've reached out to my midwife about my breastfeeding problems like just the things with my clogged duck trying to figure out a plan to get the, um, the twins on a bottle i'm trying really hard not to um, use formula um but so far what it looks like my milk is so good um and um hoping to get a plan i'm just so worried that if I do, I have almost 300 ounces of milk stashed away already. I'm just scared that if I give the freedom to my mom to use, say, hey, start using the stash, she's just gonna go plow right through it. And I don't want that to happen. That's my, one of my fears is not having enough stash. And I think once I get a hold of everything, um, you know, I feel better about my, my state of mind. And I think that's just my personality. If I don't have control of everything, then I start breaking down and I start getting all this anxiety attacks and just feeling not like like Jing, basically. And I still have been cooped up in the house. I, that's one of my anxieties, just going out in public and not feeling comfortable at all. Um, like my boobs are leaking and then you know my my boobs aren't gorged are the babies being fed like they're on a time they a time constraint as far as you know getting food so that's kind of adds on to the anxiety um, right now I told my mom I needed to go put some clothes away but I'm using this time to express myself I've been listening to podcasts to kind of get my mind off of things there's so much you could watch and and see on you know YouTube and um, Netflix and Hulu. Um, I just kind of wanted to daze out and listen to something because if I daze out and I'm not listening to anything, it's when I go kind of ooh. <sighs> so that's my self care blurb or bleb feelings, mind stuff out into universe and. I'm waiting for it to get better waiting patiently and struggling through it but I love my babies I love my twins they're so adorable and I just want to get give them what's best but it's all about me since I'm the mom I'm the one who's pr producing all the milk and I have to make a decision of what I need to do so again if you want to discuss about this feel free to Message me on Instagram. I don't get any alerts on this channel at all. Um, check out our other channel, our main my main channel. Links down below. But if you want to discuss more, feel free to message me on Instagram. I'm at, well, mainly active there. All right. Thank you for listening, and maybe we'll see you soon. Well, if it's soon, then you know, or later, but soon, so that I can get all this stuff out. All right. Thanks.